the possibilities always exist. The probabilities are probably very, uh, very small. A bridge disaster like the one we saw unfold in Maryland could happen anywhere, but it's extremely unlikely. That from a McMaster professor of civil engineering who describes the Baltimore area incident as a perfect storm. He says while Canada might have some bridges that could use a revisit, he adds in Ontario we're doing a pretty good job at inspecting major infrastructure like the Burlington or Garden City Skyway. Having said that, does it mean that things cannot go wrong? No, but most likely they will not go wrong in, in a sense of they will have the structural capacity to, to address loads. You know, the bridges like this one here, the Skyway between Burlington and Hamilton, the columns in this bridge don't go into the water. They're on dry land. They won't be hit by a ship. But is this bridge vulnerable to something? Oh, it's always vulnerable. I mean, corrosion is one of the biggest elements. If you look at it, steel. And corrosion in this case could be in the steel structure or could be also in the concrete. As a structure, it has performed through the years. So we know the design from a structural engineer, it's sound. It, it's there. It's standing. So in this particular bridge here, if you're looking at it, or any bridges, uh, we do an, an MTO in this particular, as I think is, that's part of MTO, they do inspect it on a regular basis. These, these big, the major bridges that we've built across the country, they're not just important for commuting, but I mean, you look at Niagara Falls, Windsor, Sarnia, these are bridges that one of these is compromised in some way where you can't cross it. Uh, I mean, the economic hit is enormous. In terms of being ready to, to deal with that kind of loss, do you find that we're ready to deal with that as a supply chain issue if that's a problem? Well, I'm not an expert in that area, but I can tell you, no. Always look at what are the alternatives. When there's an accident on those bridges and the bridges has to be shut down for an hour and two hours, what happens? Well, it's chaos. In a written statement to City News, the St. Lawrence Seaway Management Corporation, which oversees the operation of the Welland Canal, says in part, bridge design and robust physical protections safeguard all structures along the marine corridor. We did also hear from Transport Canada. They described the Canadian marine safety system as world leading. At the Burlington Skyway, David Zura, City News.